What's he doing? He's fighting something else. Okay, here. Let's quickly deal with this. Oh, you killed him. Thanks, Kook. You want to be my friend? No, I guess not. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are ready to start. Our next mission, um, but uh, let's take a look at our workshop, or, or the workshop rather, first. Uh, so we unlocked the survival backpack the last time, uh, but we're not going to be able to get the gatherer's backpack until we start getting into exotics. So um, I was thinking about going ahead and just getting the MXC axe too. I mentioned before that, you know, the, the stone axe seems to work fine in the early game, but I don't know, it might might be a good idea just to get that and be done with it and then we have all the basic tools to start with maybe i don't know haven't decided yet to be honest with you um so otherwise what i think i want to do now is i want to start working towards the uh the bow uh because you know and, and eventually you know the armor too so to do that we're gonna have to move this direction um, so we can, um, uh, well, we can't even unlock that yet. That's 250. We only have 125. So 250, 250 and 200. So basically 700, we have to, it's going to take us 700 points just to get to here to unlock that before we can even think about this. So yeah, we, we got a little ways to go on that. Um, we could also get into a little bit better pick i suppose but i don't know this this pick does the job until you know it it lasts for the most part it lasts up until about the time you start getting iron depending upon you know how much you use it so it does it does its job you know quite well i think so i don't know well we obviously can't really do anything more right now and probably shouldn't we should probably just sit on our points what does this do here a 25 unit stack of high density petrochemical generated by comet comet coal uh okay why would you do that <laughs> i mean coal is so easy to get i don't know uh maybe there's more to it that i don't see um I could see maybe, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to be doing a long prospect, you know, bringing some, some seeds like, flor you know, let's say for example, you're going to be in the forest and bringing squash seeds, something like that does make a lot of sense to me. So anyway, okay. It doesn't look like we can do anything new here. Um, so we've got our usual loadout here. So let's go to new prospect and we are going to now try out the desert. So if you didn't see the last episode, we did the dry run expedition, which opens the desert up. And then we could either do pyramid construction. Uh, we're not going to do these short ones, at least not for now. Um, sandy bridges, extended survey, extended survey. That's a tw Oh, wow. That's a 20 day mission. Yowzers. Okay. I did death ray scan on multiplayer. Sandblast exploration is a 30 day mission. Wow. That's a long haul there, man. So we could, how much do we get for this? Regulations say you've now got full access to this entire zone. Guess the work's paying off. Oh, this is, okay. So this is the same thing as Argos exploration, except for now you have 30 days to hang out in the desert. Ah, okay. I don't know if, hmm, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, what is, what does this give us? You know, might Ooh, look at that. Wolf, 300. But they're wolves with cash. Okay, so... Geomagnetic readings in the region have got them freaking out. They want more data, a lot more, before they make some big decisions. If you're ready, they're paying. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. My goodness, it's a 20-day mission. Two. Wow. Okay. I wonder what they mean by extended survey. Death ray scan is is basically your, your you know your basic scan. You go to three places, you scan, you get attacked by animals. 
Um, the one thing about this, they've been noticing your work. We're gonna 150 for this. Take advantage of new territory. Yeah, uh, be quiet, Saul. <laughs> we know we know what happens. Uh, the the thing about it is, man, you have to run all over the desert, and it's a huge biome. Uh, you know, to do that. Um, I don't know. We could we could do sandy bridges. That gives us 20 days, and we could, you know, we could we'll get 300 credits for it. Well, you know, I I seriously doubt we would take 20 days to do it, but then we could build up and get into the really good stuff too. And hang out in the desert for a while. Sandblast exploration. Oh, yeah, that's the one we just looked at, right? Spirit level survey. That's a seven day. You and I have got a job for you. 150. If you don't mind who you're working for. Transmit geodata from location. They need geodata from this region and fast. They're not saying why, but something under the surface has got them excited. You interested? That's probably the giant worm. Okay. Um. Well, just try. Oh, what is pyramid construction? The assembly. One seventy-five. Anyone, but they need help. Reach construction location. Establish a hunting outpost. They're getting ready to send advanced teams down, but they need places to stay, or it's gonna be a real short trip. This they is a three scholar. Before they can drop their people in. You interested? Establish a hunting outpost. Does that mean I have to build just one building? <clears throat> okay, that could be fun. It's a three skull mission, too. My goodness. Seven days. Uh, okay. So we got to make a decision here. We got to make a decision here. Um, we could probably knock this out fairly quickly. Um, you know, just to get get us that 150. You know, the thing about this is it's 300, but it's it's a 20 day mission. That doesn't mean we have to take 20 days to do it, of course. But eh, pyramid construction is the three skull for 175. So, um. I, I'm a little bit indecisive, you guys. So let's do let's do pyramid construction. It's got insurance on it, anyways. Okay. The assembly don't trust anyone. I think we already but they heard him. Help. So basically, we got to get to where they want us to go, and then we build the They're hunting outpost. Ready to send advanced teams down. We got all of our stuff. They need places to stay, or it's gonna be a real short trip. Okay. They gotta have the basics before they can drop their people in. You interested? I'm interested, and I've already started. <laughs> Here we go. All right, guys, our first time in the desert. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Uh, the desert is different, though, of course, than the forest biome. And, and I'm not just saying that to make the most obvious statement in the world, but it's different because you the resources, uh, or I should say the resource acquisition is a lot different in the desert. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um one of the things that is hard are you know harder to find are sticks but you get sap when you cut trees down um so you don't need a ton of sticks to make sap you just need a few you know to make it the basic stuff so there's that uh, we're there's supposed to be squash in the desert um you know but we're not going to have some of the other stuff that's in the desert or in the forest like uh, there's no berries that's the kind of thing so it'll be a different vibe for sure and we'll have to you know, I'll figure it out and get used to it. So, should be fun though. Oh, they're starting us off in the forest. The what? They got Africa working together. Nothing could stop them. And now, here we are. They're preparing for some major moves and need places for their people. Hunters to start with. Food's got to come from somewhere. You know how this goes. Build it, and they'll come. So get them set up with the basics, and we're good to go. Check your map, and let's get this circus on the road. Okay, so they actually landed us in the forest. Uh, let's take a look and see where we are exactly. All right, so we've got to get to here. And then uh, I guess that's where they want us to build. Why didn't they just land us in the desert? I don't know. That's weird. So, 
I guess we go this way. All right, well, um, I think I'm going to, since we're in the forest, I'm going to gather up like a bunch of berries and stuff. Am I actually... No, we need to go north. Uh, I don't remember... I think it's this way here that goes to the desert, because I think this goes back down to that valley we were in in the last mission. Pretty sure that's the deal. So I'm going to work my way around here. Uh, and when we get to the desert, I'll bring you guys back at that point, And then I'll probably just keep you with me for the whole entire episode this first time around as we check out the desert. But while I'm in the forest, I'm going to take advantage of that fact um, and, you know, get me get myself a supply of sticks, get a bunch of berries, that sort of thing, and take those with us. OK, so I'll see you guys when we reach the border of the desert. All right, guys, we are just about at the desert here. So I spent some time here in the forest off camera and um, got some, some stuff going on. So I hung out in the cave for a while, got some iron going. Uh, we've got, got an anvil, a crafting bench, uh, iron tools, and um, iron, uh, or rather flint arrows. Uh, so, oh, and I also, while I was in the cave, I made some steel bloom for later too. And so, yeah, let's uh, check this out. This is really cool looking here. A zebra. Well, hello, zebra. You're going the wrong way. You're supposed to be in the other biome. Stop. <laughs> You'll get eaten by a grizzly. Anyway, okay. Look at this, man. This is awesome. Okay, so, yeah, we are um, on the map. Uh, we're up here in... Um, O, uh, 08, grid 08, and um, it occurred to me after I had already come all the way up here that um, we might have been able to go through these caves that we opened up. I don't know if they stay opened up or not. I w I'm not sure. So, uh, But, you know, we came all the way up here, so this is the way we're going into the desert. So look at this, you guys. This is cool, man. Uh, so like I mentioned to you, I did spend some time in in the desert what is this a medium sandstorm really and it's just boom here oh my goodness that didn't give us any time at all crap all right well since we're this close to the forest i guess we'll, we'll run back out and wait for it to finish hey zebra you gotta go the other way man um Okay, well, I guess, yeah, well, I'm, I'm just going to wait here for that storm to finish. Um, what was I saying, though? Oh, yeah, I did spend some time in the desert on multiplayer. Uh, we did the um, death ray scan mission, I think it was. And um, so have I've experienced it for myself um, a little bit, but uh, not anywhere near, you know, like I have the forest or the Arctic bomb. So it's still going to be somewhat new. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, it's a huge biome. It's every bit as big as the forest, I think, or it seems like it anyway. Um, and there's lots of canyons and and like there's this at least one area that's kind of like a Grand Canyon. It's really cool. So yeah, I guess we'll wait for the storm to finish. I'll bring you back when it's out of here, and then we'll proceed. All right, let's see if this storm is over, or at least almost over. Look at that hyena do a somersault there. Alright, what do we not have in room for? We don't need fur. I want to keep bones for epoxy. Okay, looks like the storm is finished. There's a warthog and a hyena down there. Two hyenas. Look at them swimming in the water. It's funny. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We've got to get to here. So I'm going to put a marker on the map. Um, can I... I don't know if I can get down over here. It's kind of looking like maybe not. Um, we could maybe jump down here. I've got the... You know, I've got the workshop backpack on, which gives us 50% sprain, uh, or 50% chance to avoid a sprain. 
when taking fall damage and 25% falling resistance. So that doesn't mean we can fall from anywhere and be fine, but you know, it means we're a lot more robust when it comes to falling. So basically, if this is the first time you guys who are watching have seen the desert, the hyenas are essentially the wolves of the desert. And then, you know, we have boar, of course, um, but we're also going to have cougars uh, to contend with. And the thing I've noticed, especially about the cougars, is that they don't um, they don't make a lot of noise. So they're more apt to sneak up on you and not warn you of their presence like the animals in the forest will. So, yeah, that's a thing. And the critters in the desert are also uh, more high level too, so it's a, it's a good place to uh, level up. And we just hit a new level. Uh, right, and then the schnozzle. Okay. We should be able to jump down here and yeah, not get hurt. Very useful. There's a, There seems to be a lot more cliffs and jumping down from high places in the desert. So, you know, having this backpack is going to help tremendously with that. I mostly just, uh, like I had mentioned before, I want the bones. I, I, have one, I have one stack of leather. That's all we need for now. Um, oh, it looks like we're loaded up with bones, too. I could, hmm... Um, just trying to think what I could get rid of. <laughs> we can find fiber in the desert. It's just not as abundant. But I don't, I think I want to keep one thing of fiber with me. The sticks are, are harder to find. Not impossible, but harder. I'm trying to make more spoiled meat so that I can continue making anti-poison tonic when we get to where we're going. So, uh, you know what though? In the long run, I think... The bones are more important. Because, I mean, we're going to get meat anytime. We can get meat anytime. There's plenty of critters to kill in the desert, too. So, from that standpoint, it's no different than the forest. Um, elephants are neutral, but if you kill critters near them, then they can get angry with you. And they are, as you can imagine, not simple to kill. I don't know if they, if you get right up to them, if they don't like that so much. Let's not test that theory. Okay, so we're going to run through here. Oh, you know what else I was going to do? Let's put our music back on. I, I turned it off in the forest because after a while it was kind of just the same, same old, same old thing. And I got tired of listening to the organ. <laughs> uh, but I think the music in the desert is actually uh, different. Uh, so hopefully it'll pop in here soon. All right, that cougar warned us of his presence. Oh! Okay. You know, the funny thing, too, is that mountain lions certainly do live in the desert, but they're more common in forested areas. So it's kind of funny that they have mountain lions in the desert instead of in the... But I just hear... Oh, see, now that elephant didn't appreciate me shooting those guys, but... You know, self-preservation. Okay. I think you can get away from him. He got stuck on the tree for a minute there. All right. All right, let's just keep moving. Mr. Zebra. So, yeah, this uh, biome reminds me a lot of, sc of Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Evolved. I really loved that map. It was a good map. So, if you're curious... <clears throat> Again, for those of you who are new to the desert biome, uh, that hyena is going to attack me. I hope that elephant doesn't get pissed. 
All right, he's far enough away to where he doesn't care. Um, if you're curious, the place that you find sticks in the desert is in these little grass piles. He's got like a little warthog uh, retinue following him there. See, now that hog's coming over here to investigate the corpse. Anyway, you can find the sticks in the in these little grassy areas. And then you can get fiber and sometimes tree sap from... Uh, oh, and I guess wood, too. Huh. From harvesting the little saguaro cactuses there. Now, I do have leather armor on, and leather armor um, has minus... 15 or 5 heat resist. What is it? To, wait a minute. What? Oh, okay. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 1. And I guess it's not on here. So, so basically, I guess we have minus 5 heat resist. But I haven't really noticed that to be a problem, especially, you know, with our canteen giving us the constant cooling effect. So it kind of balances it out. If we can, you know, get away with the leather armor, I'd rather have it because, of course, it's going to offer more protection than the cloth armor. Okay, so let's keep moving towards our destination here. Looking forward to... Ooh, got a little bit of stuttering looking that way. Overall, the performance uh, with my new car is just amazing. I mean, in comparison to the 1080. I'm loving it. But uh, this game still has stutters and freezes. But I think that's more, you know, like just stuff loading in. And they, you know, they still need to optimize things too. So there is that as well. You will sometimes come across these little arches and, you know, even smaller ones than this. But they don't really offer shelter even though they should. Or you would think they would anyway. Okay, we got to be getting fairly close. It's starting to get on in the day, too. Actually, it's, yeah, definitely getting on in the day. Okay, so we come to the Grand Canyon here. This is so neat looking, you guys. I love it. Uh, so we're going to have to go around that way. Um, let's see here. I need to rebuff, so... Let's take some berries, some flatbread, and maybe some... Here, we'll finish up these carrots. That'll free us up a slot. All right, let's go around this way. Now, elephant, if these hyenas attack me first, and cougars and everything else, don't get pissed. He's angry. <laughs> Come on, man. I was just defending myself. What the hell? Run away. Okay, it looks like they don't hold aggro for a long time, though. We will have to experiment with taking those dudes out. I think, if I remember right, they told me on multiplayer game that you can... Sort of kind of do the same kiting thing with him that you can with bears. Well, oh, that mountain up there is just amazing. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but it looks like the Matterhorn when you're up further north. It's so cool. All right, let's go down this way. How close are we, by the way? Oh, yeah, we got to get across the canyon, right? Okay. All right. Um, actually, hold on. Well, here, we'll just get the bones this way. We're, oh, oh shit! He's right there! <laughs> oh, man! I didn't realize he was that close to us. Run! Run, 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 run! He's not happy! Oh, where's he going? 
Maybe he wasn't after us. Maybe he was just really thirsty and had to get down to the river as fast as possible. Okay. <laughs> wasn't sure about that one. All right, let's go up this other side here. It also reminds me a little bit of the, you know, the dune biome in Satisfactory, too. So, pretty cool. All right, we got to be getting pretty close now. This is also one of the areas you have to come to to do one of the death ray scans. Inventory's full. Yeah, we're just about in the area. This is where they want it. You ready to build? Sure. Okay. Um. It, is that all they want me to do? I don't know. We're going to have to learn the trophy bench, but I know everything else. N not that that's a problem. I got tons of points to spare. Why do you want it up here? You should have it down by the water, you dummies. Okay, well... I guess we just have to make sure whatever we build, we build inside of this blue circle. Um, so let's get started then. Um, I'm going to need to make probably a um, fire pit as usual, you know, to, to store things in while we figure this out. Yeah, I guess we could work through the night since we have a torch. Okay, so let's find some stone. Silicon, sulfur, oxide, silicon. That is not stone. However, it's nice that that stuff's there. We will utilize it. Let's go back down this way. Hey, hey, get out of here. There aren't any cantankerous elephants nearby, are there? All right, that sucker gave us a bleed effect. Our MXC knife is on its way out, but I have an, an extra iron knife that I made. Uh, I don't think we can... Do we get any of that stuff right now? Yeah, we gotta get some stone. Okay, here's some stone here. We got I believe we need 80 stone to do our thing. So let me see here. We're gonna have to drop something. Let's just finish this carrot off. That's gonna be the easiest thing to do right at the moment. And get ourselves 80 stone, baby. Oh, we got enough stone now. Okay, so let's go back up to our area. Uh, wait a minute, can I make this? Oh, no, no, we need 100 stone. Okay. And we're going to need some wood, too. There, 100 stone. Uh, okay, so how much wood do we need? We're going to need 25 wood. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to drop this. Easy, easy peasy to come by. Okay, so wood. Um, there are palm trees in the desert. I just don't see any nearby. Can we... Okay, let's... Oh, we got sap. That's nice, actually. Um, you know what? I guess we could drop... This meat, or we could just drop the fiber I mean fiber we can get it but it's not abundant is the thing uh, you know what we're gonna drop the meat okay did we just get yeah we, we got more oh wait a minute where did the wait a minute hold on hold on hold on where did the wood go oh there it is right there <laughs> Shit. Um, 
Okay, this is not actually as easy as it is in the forest because of the wood. So now we got to go around and get wood from more of these guys. I guess I should have brought some wood with me too. I kind of wasn't thinking about it. We have to get enough to... This would be a really bad time to have to try and run away from an elephant right now. Okay, let's not kill anything unless it attacks us first. I don't know if the elephants care about that or not. Really? We only have four wood so far? Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, there's another one. Eight wood. <laughs> Shit. Um, okay. So, let's see. What do we do? What do we do? What are you? You're a zebra. Okay, you're not going to try and eat us. Um, do... Uh, uh, oh, you know what we could do? We could, we could store stuff in the campfire. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's go back up to where we're going to build. We'll put some stuff in the campfire. And then, uh, you know, free us up so we can move again. That's the first thing we want to be able to do, right? Um, let's get up here where it's a little more level. Alright, this is good enough. Let's put the campfire down. Um, if we sort our inventory, it will sort by weight. So the stone is the heaviest thing. And then the anvil is next. And then this. And this. And this. Okay, now we can move. Um, so we just have to get uh, 25 pieces of wood in total. So all we can do, I guess, is run around and find some more saguaros unless we can come across a uh, palm tree. Okay, here's some more saguaros here. Here, we might as well harvest him now that we have some space. Shit. Everything wants to eat me. So what else is new? I don't think we're going to find palm trees unless we're down uh, by the water. Oh, and it does get cold at night, too, in the desert, which is normal. So that's where the leather armor heat uh, is going to help. Is that an angry elephant? Sounds like it. Okay, our MXC knife is broken. We will now replace it with our iron knife, which we can repair. I'm keeping the MXC stuff in my inventory because if I don't, I'll probably forget it. If I was near my pod, we could take it back and just put it in the pod, but of course we're not anywhere near the pod right now. Okay, there's some more saguaros. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to go on a expedition down to the water. Any angry elephants? To get wood. In fact, the more I think about it, that probably would have been the smarter thing for me to do in the first place, huh? Um, well, we have 13 pieces. Uh, let's get rid of fur. We do not need fur. If we can just get enough to build that fire pit for storage, then then we will. I mean, we're going to have to go down the river. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it to get the wood we need.
I must have some pretty tough uh, leather gloves on to not get uh, thorns in my hand when I'm picking cactuses. Uh, let's eat some meat. It'll give us some more health. All right, how, where are we at? 20. Five more pieces, ladies and gentlemen. Two more pieces. And there's our 25 pieces. Okay, let's go back. You might as well grab a little more while we're at it. Whilst we're at it here. Leave me alone. No, here comes dumbass. Okay, all good? All good for us, not for the hyena. Uh, let's see, we were not taking that. Okay, we let's take a berry buff. Okay. What the hell was that? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Elephant. I will give you a wide berth for your wide ass. Hey, what's that? Oh, aloe. Did not know that it was in the desert in this game. Okay, elephant. You damn well better not attack me. Is he mad? He's mad. That's not fair. I call hacks. At least they're not like absolutely brutally fast, you know? That's the thing. He's definitely kiteable, as long as you don't run out of stamina. Just leave me alone, man. Seriously? You need to get stuck somewhere. Oh, this is not good. There's some place I can get up on a rock so he'll leave me alone. Dude, you are really asking for it. Oh, 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 oh! All right. If you want to go. Yeah. What's he doing? He's fighting something else. Okay, here. Let's quickly deal with this. Oh, you killed him. Thanks, Kook. You want to be my friend? No, I guess not. The cougar finished him off for us. I had no idea that they would fight like that. Look at those creepy looking eyes, man. Okay. Yeah. So. This place is got critters all over. Um. All right, where's our fireplace? <laughs> goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. We set it up on a flatter area. Yeah, right here. You coming after me, pig? I'm leaving corpses all over the place, which isn't good. I'll try and get them harvested here in a second. Okay, let's put um, da, 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 let's put that in there and grab the stone back in our inventory and put that in there and make the fire pit. 
And if you're watching me for the first time, the reason I make the fire pit is because it gives you good early game storage and it's weatherproof. It does not get destroyed by storms, so it's perfect for... Uh, speaking of which, what the hell? Arid winds. Minor winds. Okay. Hopefully that's not going to really put the hurt on us. Uh, Alright, let's put this back a little ways from where we'll probably do the building. And now we can store stuff in here. Um, let's keep these with me at all times just because... Just because. You never know. Uh, we want to keep our meds. We want to keep our food. Our sickle. And we have three more spots there. Let's put the wood there. Um, actually, no. Let's put the wood in here and cook some of this meat up. Because we're going to go get a bunch of wood down by the river. And then you've got all this stuff in here. You're also weatherproof, so we might as well just leave that stuff in there. Okay. Whew. Very good. All right. Now, what time is it? It's 2.45. I don't have the materials to build any kind of a shelter. I don't know where any of the caves are. So we're going to just keep working at night. That's all we can do. And uh, hopefully this storm doesn't cause us a lot of grief. We could look for a cave, but again, I'm not sure... I know they're around, I just don't know where they are yet because I'm not familiar with this area. Can we get any kind of shelter right here? No, uh, well, you know what? We can actually burrow into a boulder. I'm just looking at the length of the, the bad part of the storm and it's going to be a while, so we really should find some shelter. So we need to find some boulders, basically. Oh, let's eat a, frat, a flatbread. I just about said frat bread. That's the bread they make in, you know, frat houses. In case you guys didn't know that. Alright, so yeah, we need to find some boulders. Boulders, boulders, boulders. I think there's some over here. Oh, for goodness sakes. Guys, can you just give me a little bit of a break here? I don't have time to mess with you. Yeah, this is not a friendly place, you guys. <laughs> it's definitely more dangerous than the forest biome. Not gonna lie, man. It is more dangerous than the forest biome. Okay, those boulders aren't very big. This one is pretty good size. We just have to... They're kind of long and skinny, though, aren't they? Uh, all right, well, here. Just go ahead and cut in this way. I'm afraid if I cut in sideways, I'm not going to have enough depth. Oh, okay, we're already sheltered. Nice. Oh, I see the end in sight. Okay, this, this storm actually, actually isn't going to be as long as I thought it was going to be. Well, guys, I'm looking at the time, and we are past time. So I think what I'm going to do is end the episode here, and then in the next episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Um, it'll I'll, I'll literally just stop the recording and start it for the next episode, but um, uh, we're going we're, we're to go too long otherwise if I don't do that. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.